mornings in our Spunberg household are something to behold. <laughs> some mornings we'll just have a cup of joe, some mornings we'll just sing songs. <laughs> of course, being newlyweds, the heat is always turned up a notch. <laughs> Hey. Good morning. My lady doth look stunning as always. As do you, my lord. <laughs> well, you're more gorgeous than the day we met. That was in the second grade. Yes. Yes, it was. I can't imagine what my brother and sister have to go through every morning getting those kids ready. <laughs> Don't touch your poop. Don't touch your poop. No. Don't get up there. No, no, no. Stay down. No. Oh. Oh, what did you eat? <laughs> waking up in this house, it's like waking up in heaven. You know, you have freedom. Freedom to do what you want. <laughs> Except this morning. <laughs> hey, good looking. What you cooking? Oh, good. You're finally <sighs> up. Yes. Oh, coffee, um... Yeah, I already drank it. <laughs> Whole pot. Yes, Alan, I am totally frazzled today. I needed Why? that. Because it... Girls' day? Yes. Oh. This is the first time I'm doing something with your family and you're not going to be it's there. It's okay, I love you. You got nothing to worry about. Listen, I don't want to be the person that's going around like, oh yeah, I think I'm a part of this family, and they're all like, no, she's not. I'm talking behind her back, and I'm telling everybody how much of a diva she is, uh, okay. and everybody thinks she's so wonderful, but I think she does not fit in yeah. with us. I know it's going to make you feel better. My famous blueberry muffins. You're not going to find them. I threw them away. What have you done? The last thing I need is for Beth Spunberg to come in this house and look through all my cabinets and fridges and say that this is an unhealthy house. Um, okay. Mm. Where are you going? Okay, that's good. Where are you going? I'm having a morning, so I'm just gonna have that morning no, now. No, stop, we have to talk about this. I will multitask. No, stop. System no, no, off. Don't, no, System no, off. no, I can't hear you. System ah, off. Ah, System ah, off. Ah, System ah, off. Ah. This is a story about a Christian film company, and this company just so happens to be made up of members of my family. My very talented, creative, and eccentric family. I'm proud to call them my real family. Alan and I are going golfing today. And I know what you're thinking. Cameron, you look like a professional golfer. Well, <laughs> I'm not. I will be after today though, that is, that is for sure. You see, I got my good friend Paul to uh, meet Alan and I in the golf course. He's gonna teach us a thing or two about golfing. You see, golf courses where business is done. Everybody knows that. And I need to be at the top of my game because I'm gonna be meeting with uh, some investors soon and gotta know my stuff. So. Uh, see that we need money for the war within for marketing. Uh, we also need money for future projects. I mean, it just doesn't grow on trees. Am I, am I right? Sorry, phone. <laughs> Hello, Cameron Spunberg. Kenny. Oh, hey, how's it going? It's great to hear from you again. Um, yeah, I was just. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, uh, tomorrow. You want to meet tomorrow? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can make that work. I mean, it sounds frightening. Enlightening. Yeah. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You know, sign me up. It's a date. <laughs> it's, but it, it's not a date. You know, <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. Sorry. Good day, sire. Sir. Hang up. Hey, Jessica. Hello. Thank you for Good inviting morning. me over. Hi. Hi. I'm glad you can make oh, it. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. You have to see what I brought for us to eat today. Okay. It's super healthy. 
um, wheatgrass. Uh, yeah. I got it at that little organic place down the street. I'm sure you've been there a hundred times. And that was just the tip of the iceberg lettuce. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, I promise it's going to be okay. We'll be ready for it. Still planning on playing golf with your investor? That's the plan. <laughs> Bad idea. You're making a big mistake if you think taking this guy to play golf is going to win him over. It's not your forte. Well, yeah, but it's not like I can play fast with softball with him. I'd smoke him. Cameron, it's not your strength. Dad, look, I'm, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. We're getting ready to tee off. Look, I know what you're thinking. Cameron, you're a filmmaker. Do you really think that you're fit to be a businessman? Here's your answer. Yes. And when it comes to business, there are a few rules of success. Rule number one always do business on the golf course. I mean, it's where business is done. It's also where dreams are made. Paul. What is up, my man, man? How you doing? Good. You're uh, looking good. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. So, uh, did you bring a change of clothes? Uh, no, I'm dressed for golf, so ready to go. You're really not. Yeah. You're really not. Um, no. Who wears a suit to the golf course? I believe that would be rookies. Wow. Gentlemen, <sighs> how are we doing? What are you wearing? Golf outfit. Uh, Googled golf success. Up came Mr. Jones. You, Bo Bobby Jones? Yeah. He wore that in the 1930s. Well, success never goes out of style. Not to mention, you know, when you're doing business, you wear a suit. I mean, it's just, it's what you do. Actually, you wear no, this. No, it, it isn't. Well, how much golf have you guys actually played? A couple innings here and there. Absolutely zilch. Wait. Where's the waterfalls and fake dragons? Oh, Diane, is this one of yours? Oh, I can totally see your artistry and your handiwork here. It is wonderful. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I can so see your sense of artistry in the way you picked out this, um, this, this piece here. Uh, thanks. Mom, stop cleaning. Paul, I'll take the 50. The what? 50 millimeter, please. That's a lens, not a club. Right. I'll take the Dudley. And that's a softball bat. Fine. We'll make do. Whatever you have. The Swisher Sweet. Look, first of all, I'm not your caddy. And yeah. secondly, you're, now you're just making things up. Here, cool. try this. OK. Cool. This is great. Are you left-handed, Alan? I am. That's how I bat. That's a right-handed club. Is it? Can never tell. Oh. Sorry guys, gotta take this. Be right back. Rule number two in business. Always be seen having a phone call. I mean, it lets your company know that you're high in demand and they're lucky to be spending time with you. So, I think that really went well. Daddy-o, what is up? Two words. Bowling alley. What? What are you talking about? It's a manlier game, the balls are bigger, and you get to knock stuff down. Dad, listen to me, I'm telling you, golf is the way it's done. You should be out here on the golf course with us. Be a great time. Four! Uh, yeah, you don't need to say that. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. Got it. Yeah, that's not happening. Look, Dad, it's my turn to go. Well, I hope you shoot below par. It's <sighs> a really rude thing to say. Great minds think alike. What are you doing here? Well, believe it or not, I don't spend all my spare time in the good book. <laughs> Sue told me you'd be here, so it'd be good to get together, have some time. Well, I was looking forward to beating somebody today. Hey, what are you shooting these days? Triple digits? So I brought this today to show you some photos of our newly decorated and designed home. So here is the um, bedroom, master bedroom. That's how I did that. And then, oh, here is the living room area. Oh, Jessica, you, you did a really good job decorating um, all by yourself. Thank you. Yes, I, I really tried. Um, and then... Oh, no, wait a minute. Um, that right there. Uh -huh. Um, is that a 
dog food ad hanging on your wall? I did that at work. And the font choices were just superb. Huh. So, uh, and then here I have the kitchen area. The kitchen? You did the kitchen all by yourself? Oh my. I am so dumb. She didn't care that my house was decorated. She wanted to decorate with me. With me. What am I gonna do now? Oh. Oh. Did you uh, see that? All right, all right. We'll, we'll work on that. Um, okay, yeah, let's, let's move on. All right, I will drive. No, you're here to learn how to play golf. You're gonna hop on the back. Give me that. You see that? Look, I'm gonna be real honest. I feel like this is a complete waste of my time. I mean, it's clear these guys have never played golf before and I don't think that I can teach them how to play in one day. I mean, the real loser in all of this is actually the game of golf. No, it's not, it's Cameron. I mean, look at this guy. He's out on the golf course wearing a suit. He's a complete idiot. I mean, I don't even think these guys know what they're doing. They, they're right, I'm right-handed, they're left-handed. They didn't even bring their own clubs. I mean, this is, this is terrible. This, if we don't get kicked off, it'll be a miracle, I think. Cameron Spunberg is finally on the green in Augusta. He missed his chance at a birdie. He will now be shooting for the Canary. The suit will not help him in this putt. Alan, will you stop golf commentating? Take your time. We'll work on that. Not a good Just putt for him indeed. He is softer hands. much further Next away from time. the hole than he was before. Oh, he missed it again. Just a little too much. Cameron Spunberg will now be shooting for a cockatoo, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's missed it again. Tappy. Tap, 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 -tap Come on. Oh! Rule number three of business is to never lose your cool. Get in the hole! Get in! There we go. Only eight more holes. The crowd goes wild. I'm driving. I don't think so. Get in the back. Okay. Cool. Just wait for me. Get on. Guys, wait. <clears throat> oh. Right, right, right. Oh. Next time. <laughs> Wayne, yes, hit me up top. Praise, <laughs> it's awesome. He is just on it. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Let's just say I'll be wearing the green jacket soon. Huh? No, no, it's a golf thing, I think. Well, things are not going great here. What do you mean? I blew it. I should have known that your mom wanted to decorate with me. And then I'm, I'm just trying way too hard to impress Diane and Beth. What are you talking about? It's not like you guys haven't hung out before. You'll be fine. Yeah, but it's always been with you. This is the first time it's ever been just girls. I don't know. I just want them to think of me as family now, you know? Of course they do. They love you. Do you know why? Because I love you. Look, I gotta go. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I, no, I think I'm trying too hard. Well, what are you afraid of? I just want everyone to like me. I was in your shoes once too. I love this family, but marrying into it is intimidating. I wanted to be a part of them, but here I was, this completely different person, this health nut who only ordered salads, and I was taking Cameron away from them. What did you do? Honestly, I stopped trying to be someone else. Being me was exactly what the Spunberg family needed. Not only did they need someone to tell them how to take care of themselves, they needed me to take care of Cameron. And you know what this family needs now? A beautiful, strong, talented musician with a great sense of fashion <laughs> to take care of Alan. Thank you. No problem.
Oh, we really appreciate this opportunity. We won't let you down. Thank you. Alan! He's, uh, he's been in there a while. Yeah. Alan! Oh, there he is. Alan! Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up? Making history. I think it's time to hang it up. What? Yeah, what's... Dad's at the bowling alley. Let's go see how he's doing. Have some fun. I Let's cannot. Say. Not until I get this ball into the hole. It's never gonna happen. Have some faith in your brother. How about it? You know what? You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yes. You know you're gonna get yourself out of this mess? Okay. You're gonna feel yourself out. So I want, here's what I want you to do. Have yeah. some faith in yourself. Feel the force, young Padawan. It's all around Feel us. the force, young Padawan. I want you to hit that ball in the hole. Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one, and action. Yeah! Oh, look at it! Wow. Did you see that? Wow. Thanks. I knew I could do it. Let's go get it. Rule number four in business. Encourage your team. Inspire them. In this case, making Alan think he can do something that he really can't. He needed a victory today, so. Well... We didn't quite finish. You know what, we got a few solid innings in. I feel really good about this. You know, this all went exactly as I thought it would. Hey, Alan. Yeah? Why don't you drive us back to the parking lot? Come on, Paul. Let's saddle up. Right. You ready? Yeah. <sighs> sure? Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. I learned something today. Here we go. Whoa! The force is strong with me. I'm really good at golf. Hey, what a day. Why are you so sweaty? Golfing. Alan, what are you wearing? Success never goes out of style. I tried to tell you boys that bowling is where you do business. Is that? We did it. We did it? Yeah. We, we did, did it. it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we got an investment. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Oh, nice. Oh, amazing. Wow. See how much that is. Yes. Guys. Struck. Whoa. Woo. Guys. I can't believe you. Guys? Guys! Good job. Good job. Wow. Wanna bowl? I do. Let's go. Let's do this. Rule number five in business. Always be yourself. See, you shouldn't try to be someone you're not, whether in business or in life. It doesn't work. God made you. God loves you. And he made you special just the way that you are. And that is what makes you special. So, be yourself. So, 600 club, shot that when I was 12 years old, and uh, the 500 club when I was only nine. So, I shot a 248 when I was 12 years old. That was a good year for me. And of course, you knew it was coming, league high average. So I've known Wayne for 14 years, and I've bowled with him 14 times, and this would be the 14th time I've seen the patches. 